all right guys so welcome back to the channel man it's your boy and for this video we're going to be building our third and final character from update 5.2 and that is actually king drip aka molten man now i know a lot of you guys have been patiently waiting to see steven peter miguel and mysterio and i promise those videos are coming very very soon but if you guys know anything about me you know that anytime one of my favorite characters in this game get any kind of spotlight and they become a very good character i just basically turn into a fan and i literally just spam videos on them over and over and over again and i didn't want to do this this time around to these new characters so i decided i wanted to put out at least one video on all three of them before i even touch spider-man and miguel o'hara at the very least because i know that i'm gonna be having a lot of fun with those two and basically what i've been seeing so far from dr strange implies that he's going to be an absolute monster exactly what i was hoping for so i can see myself spamming videos on him like i did with gene gray and thanos shout out to the homie starco gaming i am actually quite impressed that you're able to clear such a high stage with Steven and it has me very very excited to see what I can personally do with him once I get him up and give him a CTP of rage myself nonetheless man let's dive right into it I actually have almost a thousand bios for this guy because I had a lot of bios sitting in my inventory that were going to expire from multiple weeks of Shadowland and since the what's that oop okay Anyways, since the um, update happened a day earlier than I was expecting, I get to use all of them basically on Molten Man. So that's actually really good. Don't need to use any rank up tickets on him. I might actually still need to use a tier 2 advancement ticket though. But I do have some bios sitting in my inventory, but I'd like to hold on to that just for future updates since those don't have an expiry date. All right, I'd rather just use a tier 2 ticket on him okay so we got molten core and let's actually give him his mastery this time boys i didn't mess up right <laughs> i can't believe i actually messed up and wasted all those north stones and basically like 500k gold deciding that oh yeah we need to give uh electro his mastery when no we freaking didn't but it is what it is man that's what happens when a character that you've been looking forward to for a while comes to the game and you see a leadership that looks really good and you're like damn i gotta max out this leadership asap right and then you figure out <laughs> you, <laughs> you straight up forget that you don't need to actually do that right so it is what it is man it happens to the best of us and let's actually go ahead and um let's drop some twos in there then take that away uh, actually yeah let's actually go down to i think it's about 1970 yeah 1970 should be enough to get him all the way up to there we go that should be enough to get him to level 60 let's hope there we go could have actually gone a little bit lower from the looks of it so we're 9,000 in the world on molten man let's actually see what his gears offer physical attack and all attack okay so he's a elemental physical based character that means he definitely won't do very well against um ebony ma so today's video we're going to test him in shadowland and then we're going to also test him in um world boss against who oh really i'm an idiot i should have actually selected cooldown we're gonna test him against thanos come on cooldown 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 no cooldown wow <laughs> there we go wasted some gold like a damn idiot all right let's get this gear up to like oh three actually we might actually run out of bios we might actually need to collect some more for him if we get really unlucky now this crystal enhanced thing i'm tempted to try it once just to see it but i'm not gonna do it i'm not gonna do it some of you guys are saying i should do it just for science but nah man jeez really really nah man we're, we're probably gonna run out of bios we're probably gonna need another hundred for him movement speed sucks would have been better if he got all defense, HP, and then all defense again. Then again, he seems like he limps when he moves, so maybe movement speed is beneficial for him. Too soon to say. Let's see, what do we get here? Crit damage. Dodge. Why does he need dodge, bro? Like, such a bad, bad stat to give him double hp 
crit damage, that would have been nice. Okay, so I, I want to say like we're looking like... <laughs> oh my goodness. I thought it. I thought it and then I got punished. I was going to say we're looking like we have enough to do this. And then I got hit with that times 19. I guarantee you guys we're going to need to dip into the reserves and use another 100. I was hoping that, you know, that 370 would have been enough. But nah. It's been a while since I used like just bios to get a character all the way from one star all the way up to six and did their gears. Whew. 25. Thank you. Thank you, RNG. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, we definitely need to grab another hundred out of the reserve. Close your eyes, guys. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Okay. Let's actually let's grab the 60. There's a 200 there, but we're not going to take that. I feel like I should have gone with the, the 100, though, because there's three gears, and I'm going to get hit with times 25. 21! Close enough, right? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. 25! Oh, my God! <laughs> oh, you got to love it. You got to love that feeling when you're right and you just hate that you were right. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So we use like 1,200 bios from start to finish for this guy. My goodness. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all this luck that I've been having lately. I, I just love it. I just absolutely love it. 21. So basically all three of these last gears, over 20. That's just splendid. Absolutely splendid. Anyways, let's get this done and over with. Damn you, Molten Man. <laughs> all right so we have more but dear too that's good now we have to spend some more gold because actually oh oh wow bind fear stun okay can this go up to 30 percent oh nice that goes up to 30 percent okay that's dope okay so i think the only skills i need to max out on this guy is three four and five Oh, wow. So this goes up to... What? What? Wow. So a 45% attack buff on his three and a 30%... Woo! Hello? Yo. I'm telling you guys, this is a solid free-to-play update, man. This is actually a solid free-to-play update. Because Hydro Man isn't bad either. Right? So let's leave those at three for now because I think all we need is these three skills. Now, the next thing we got to do is give them Power of Angry Hulk or Overdrive, whichever one we get first. I'm going to cut out most of the rolling. I know this is going to take a while. And we're going to get some real bad luck because our luck's been <laughs> consistently bad for the past month and a half. Got to love it. Two hours later. Honestly, guys. Honestly, guys. I truly hate the ISO set rolling system in Marvel Future Flight. I truly hate it. Like seriously, if there's one thing I despise in this game, it is this thing. I really hope, I'm praying that one day they actually change this thing. It's the part that I hate the most when it comes to building new characters. Sitting, watching, and waiting to see when I'll finally get an ISO set that I want. Like I'd rather just say, you know what? Here's 20 million gold, just stop right when I get it. Like I'd rather just do that than sit here and literally fall asleep watching this thing roll over and over and over again. It's absolutely annoying and it drives me insane. Seriously, this is the one thing that they should be looking towards changing instead of messing with the Oru system that everybody has accepted by now, right? It's just truly annoying and it, ah, uh, like irks me so much so like okay nice you get something awakened even electro didn't get anything awakened i should have probably given that to electro and given you a regular six star but hey you look like you're gonna be decent so let me not shit on you and we'll give you a lot of hp we're gonna need to build up a lot of hp um isos all right so should have given you some physical with HP instead of all attack though, but whatever. It's the same deal. Alright, so is it 
Ooh, physical attack is really low. HP is high though. 27,000. That's not bad. That's not bad. Let's see what the stats look like. Okay, so attack speed is good. It's not bad. Crit rate is... Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Crit rate should be fine thanks to... That's a 30% crit rate buff. 7 second duration. 18 second cooldown. So 2 seconds when you don't have it up. But then you have this thing which offers... Okay, this doesn't offer you any crit rate. I think it's fine. I think giving him like maybe 45-50% is good enough for crit rate. So I probably should prioritize crit damage. Yeah, I should probably crit, yeah, prioritize crit damage and maybe some additional attack speed. Is there any attack speed here? Only 1%. Okay, that's fine. All right, boys, let's jump into a little bit of Shadowland. And let's see how he does on these two wave modes here. And then we're going to jump into some uh, harder content. Test him out against Thanos for you guys. And let's see how he does. All right, so we're going to open with the three. We're going to go three, four, five. Okay, so even though you're a blast type, you're just getting schmelted. Look at, look at the size of that thing. Holy smokes. That is insane, guys. That is actually insane. Like, it literally takes up the entire Shadowland map. Like, I don't even have to do anything. Like, oh my goodness. He's such a good Shadowland character because of the AoE. Like, that's Crayola. Yeah. And his um cooldown times. It looks like you really only need to use three, four, then five. Yeah. You could probably use one of the other skills before you use five. You could probably go three, four, two, five. Let me try that. Let me try that against um these guys over here. Let's try 3425 or maybe 3415. No, I don't like the one at all. Actually, I don't like the one. All right, let's go. Three. Okay, yeah, we can. Yeah, we can definitely do that. Yeah. Like if we're. Yeah. Let's go three, two. Let's try. We're trying mixing up. No, no, no. Don't want to do that. Definitely don't want to do that. The immunity runs out. So in Warboss Ultimate, that's probably not a good idea. Yo. <laughs> He's such a good Shadowland character because of the AoE. Man. Holy. Yeah. These guys are just getting smelted, dog. King Drip. Uh, they throat. They can't, they can't handle him, bro. He's actually sick. He's actually sick. I should have tested him at tier 1 for you guys. Apologies, apologies. I jumped the gun. But let's see how he does against the big guy. You're my boss of the day. I need a couple books from you, my G. Anyways, let's see how you do here. We're going to go with... Let's see something here. Hold up, hold up. Okay, everything is flame. Everything is physical. Right? Yeah, okay. Cool. So we're going to do this. We're going to give him a Satana and ghost panther that's what we're gonna do yeah that's the money let's see we give him as much fire damage as possible where are you satan i haven't used it in a hot minute no pun intended <laughs> or, or pun intended where is this guy there we go kind of looks like the thing on look at look at the animation between the two of them yeah kind of looks like the thing all right so toxic meteor you know what? let's run without anti-venom all right, let's see how much damage we can get out of them. We have what, like 120% fire damage thanks to Ghost Panther and Satana. Then we have another 45% damage to super villains. Let's see what that equates to. Still don't think we're gonna have enough damage to complete this stage without a damage proc, especially since it's Thanos, but it's always nice to see what the initial damage is like before you augment it with a whole bunch of other things. Also, it seems like it's best to proc your damage on the fifth skill once you do have a damage proc on him. Because that seems to do way more damage than um okay. Than the fourth skill. Okay, let's use that belly flop again. Also, I just noticed something. There's a small gap at the beginning. Okay, we're gonna need to move from around him because he's creating all kinds of nonsense. Whoop, yep, there's a, there was a, <laughs> that's exactly what I was saying. There's a small gap at the beginning of the fifth skill iframe where you can take damage. 
and before the um, fifth skill ends completely and he comes back up out of the ground, there's also a gap where you can take damage. If only his cooldown time on his damage immunity was one second shorter, he would be a much smoother character to transition with. Oh, Thanos, I hate you so much. So overall, based on ease of use so far, I would give it to um, Hydro Man, right? But both of them seem pretty solid in terms of like their damage output and their survivability. Okay, I need to move out of the poison. Probably should have brought Anti-Venom along, but it's okay. Woof! It's okay, I was gonna say. But it's not looking okay right now. Ah, oh, come on, Thanos! Yo. <laughs> that skill, bro. That fifth skill of his, it looks absolutely amazing. Oh, really? Oof. All right, so he definitely can't do this right now, but he's doing all right. He's doing all right by my book. We're going to push a little bit further. Okay, come over here in the center, my guy. I don't want to use a skill and then have you... Okay, I know you're going to use that stupid titan punch as soon as i come out the ground oh you didn't do it well now is when you did it no <laughs> I, I figured he was gonna Ooh. that dodge though that dodge that i said i didn't need actually kicked in okay he's putting in work he's doing a good job staying alive without anti-venom even when the poison is in this stage and i gotta give him credit for that okay always gotta give characters credit when they can survive without needing anti-venom when the toxic meteor is on the stage because the toxic meteor really tests a character's survivability if they stand in place a lot okay Woo! that was close that belly flop Okay. What are you going to do, big guy? Nice, that dodge kicked in again. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, man. This guy's like, I'm tired of your shenanigans. I'm just trying to kill you. But, yeah, you guys see where this is going. He definitely doesn't have enough DPS to complete this yet. But this is a pretty good first showing, if you ask me. Right? He's doing a good enough job staying alive. And he's putting out damage that by my standards are respectable for a character that doesn't have a damage proc especially since i'm just getting a handle on how to use the character right so i think with a damage proc a slightly better build he could easily complete this even without anti-venom and i gotta give him credit for that free to play or not right he's a solid character Anyways, let's jump out of here, man. I want to keep you guys forever. This is just my first impressions. We're definitely going to show some more love to him, put some more work into him. 715 in the world doesn't really mean too much right now. It just means that a lot of people are sleeping on him. They don't feel too confident building him just yet. So don't take this rank for very much right now. But we're definitely going to give him some Uru's. We're going to give him an ISO set. Well, I already have an ISO set. I mean, I'm going to give him uh, custom gear. I actually have a 180 damage proc lying around in your somewhere with fire damage and ignore dodge i'm trying to decide whether or not i should give him that or i should give him something with some more crit damage because we're really low 143 is really low trying to get 180 but it is what it is man we're gonna play around with him a little bit more and find out what fits him perfectly i'll catch you guys in the next window leave your thoughts in the comments let me know how you guys are personally feeling about molten man i think he's solid i think he's a solid character free to play or not but leave me your thoughts i'll catch y'all in the next one Peace.